Hello everybody. As the days get shorter and night comes earlier, dusk is coming earlier too. And for those of you who don't know, dusk is the time right before the sun sets when it starts to get dark. And now that it's so early, a lot of you will be awake to see it. So the two books I'm going to read today are about that special time of day called Dusk. And this one specifically is about the windows that we see at that time of day. And it's a beautiful book called Windows by Julia Denos, illustrated by E.B. Goodale. At the end of the day, before the town goes to sleep, you can look out your window. and see more little windows lit up like eyes in the dusk, blinking awake as the light turns on inside, a neighborhood of paper lanterns. You can take a walk out your door into the almost night. You might pass a cat or an early raccoon taking a bath in squares of yellow light. One window might be tall with the curtains drawn or small with a party inside. Between two windows, there could be a phone used for good ideas. There might be a hug or a piano. And someone might be learning to dance. Another window could be dark with a sleeping plant or two, or maybe bright and rounded like the moon. Some windows will have dinner or TV. Others are empty and leave you to fill them up with stories. Then you arrive home again and you look at your window from the outside. Someone you love is waving at you and you can't wait to go in. So you do. Beautiful. The next book I'm going to read is called Dusk Explorers, and this is by Lindsay Leslie and illustrated by Ellen Rooney. The sun begins to sink. The neighborhood beckons. Looking for tree climbers who love to monkey from branch to branch to see who can soar the highest. And find courage in the roughest of bark and the gentle flutter of leaves. Calling for leapfroggers who love to jump over backs and fall down on itchy blades of freshly cut grass. And discover tunneling worms while they wait in the darkness of a tight tuck.
searching for tag competitors who love to sprint between huddled homes lined with shrubs and memories and lose track of time, their breath as they call time out right before getting caught. Hopping for toad hunters who love to catch hopping families of wart covered croaking creatures and give them funny matching names like Bubba, Bubette, and Bubba Rina. Waiting for kick the can players who love to run at lightning fast speeds to a cricket's crick, crick, crick and dodge street lamps gradual glow to keep from getting captured. And there's our friend the raccoon again. Yep, coming out in this story too. Longing for curbside whisperers who love to share their deepest secrets under the soft shine of the setting sun and snicker at the stories they dare not share with anyone else. Watching for hide-in seekers who love to duck into nooks and tuck into crannies to keep long limbs out of sight. And wait with buzzing nerves and bat-like ears for the moment they are found. Wishing for firefly catchers who love to fling their nets into the dimming sky sprinkled with diamonds. And watch their jars glow to the soundtrack of thrumming cicadas. Listening for giddy gigglers who love to scream with delight at the wind, lifting their hair and tickling their noses, and pretend not to hear their parents, the sun is gone yell, time to come home. Every summertime, screen doors open, porch lights turn on, the neighborhood waits. For dusk explorers. Come run free outdoors, steal away into the net. Beautiful, beautiful, two beautiful books about dusk. I hope you've enjoyed this story time and if you want a follow-up activity, it might be a nice idea to see what you would draw in your own window. So if you draw a window, what kind of things would you see looking into that window? I'd be curious to see that. You can always share those drawings with me. Have a great day everybody. Bye!